Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. Today I'm here out on a ride and um, of course I'm at the really famous Marina Park right here in downtown Kirkland. And I've been thinking a lot about making more videos about how to ride safely around in Seattle. So today we're gonna go on one of the pieces of the Lake Washington Loop where I feel that you need to take extra caution and we'll go over why. So let's get on the bike and start heading over that way. All right, so the topic of today's video is gonna be about doors, getting doored as a cyclist, the thing that we all dread. And uh, this area along the loop is probably one of the worst areas in this regard due to the way that the road is set up that you'll just sort of clearly see as you go along here. It's a beautiful sights, fairly cold day, but at least it's super dry. But yeah, this is along Lake Street and you'll see that there's a road a bike lane and then a huge row of cars next to some beautiful landscapes here over to the right. And especially in the summertime, this is probably one of the worst areas for in terms of potentially running into doors. And that's because normally cars, uh, they in sort of smaller areas, they sort of have to look out for cars uh, when they open up their doors. But here, that bike lane sort of acts as that buffer for them and a lot of times people sort of just get careless and don't, don't look for cyclists before they open their doors so really gonna go over some tips here some of them might be straightforward some of them might be things that you never thought of before but like as always in cycling you just want to be looking up far ahead uh, not just looking a couple meters in front of you but really up down the road and just look out for signs. Look out for car lights. Look out for, I don't know, just any other activity uh, that you can see. Sometimes I even look through some of the car windows to check if there's a driver in there. And I know that sometimes can take away from the experience from people of riding a bike, but especially in these busy parts here, where we're approaching now, right next to a park, uh, especially in the summertime, there's a ton of in and out traffic, so would definitely pay heed there. But yeah, you can see how close you sort of have to get as you're sandwiched between the lanes. And not to mention just many cars getting into the whole bike lane or the roadway. Uh, yes, just go to the after. And that'll be my next tip. If it does get intangible, you're always, uh, at least here in Washington State, you're you're legally able to take more of the of the car lane. So if there's this particular stretch where it's just getting too squished and you need more space, uh, look out for cars and you can create some of that space out for yourself. But other than that, really, it's just paying attention. And in this stretch, you can go decently fast. So it's always worth looking out for, like I'm looking out for just cars turning out in general, like this USB PS truck and things like that. But those are sort of the, some of the things that of course I'm definitely just thinking about and looking out for as I'm riding along. But hopefully none of you have ran into specific, specific trouble in this area. But if you have, let me know in the comments below sort of what you ran into and what are your, some of your other type of safety tips around this. But I'll be making this into a series of just different topics. Hopefully that everyone just stay safe uh, definitely just be cognizant next time of doors and uh, yeah, happy riding out there. So catch you all in the next one.